Stand up. Okay, here we go. All right, what are we gonna say? Welcome back to Roots and Refuge Farm. Welcome back to Roots and Refuge Farm. That's correct, that's what we say, usually. Sometimes I don't say it because I don't like being stuck in a hole. Anyways, welcome back guys. Today I'm hanging out with Ben. We're gonna be building stuff together, right? Using tools? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Ben's my helper today. We're gonna be building some chicken brooders. Here on the farm, we used to brood stuff all the time. We have a pretty nice incubator. In the last few years, we just haven't really prioritized that. And when we really started focusing on uh, expanding our gardening, uh, a lot of the uh, other endeavors we were doing, we just haven't had time for. And so we haven't been hatching or brooding uh, new chickens, ducks, or anything like that. I think we'll be getting back into that now that we're a little bit more established in the gardening area. To start that off, our friends over at Murray McMurray are sending us this week, I think either it gets here Tuesday or it ships Tuesday, I can't remember which. But anyways, this week we'll be getting our new round of layer hens and our first round of uh, meat chickens for this year. What that means is we're gonna have to brood them. Now the brooder boxes I used to use a couple years ago have just deteriorated. I did not use very good quality materials because I honestly couldn't afford to use what I should have used. And so they didn't withstand the weathering and the rain and the different things in the, honestly when we brooded ducks in one, they just got so messy that essentially it just fell apart. So we have to build new brooders. I went ahead and got some advice from my friend over at Goldshaw Farm, Morgan Gold. He kind of gave me some pointers on how big of a space I needed to use. I'm also using a brooder style, very similar to what he did, which is essentially just a plywood box that you can move very easily and help keep them in. <laughs> yeah, Goldshaw Farm, there you go. <laughs> You're funny. So let me, I'll go over the materials we're using and kind of just like the rough design and then me and Ben are gonna try and get at least the first one or two of them put together. Now the dimensions we're going with uh, for these brooders are gonna be four foot wide by eight foot long. Uh, part of that is because I like having extra space uh, even if it's overkill for the amount of birds. Probably the main reason why we're going with that dimension is because plywood comes in four foot wide by eight foot long pieces. So um, with keeping that in mind, uh, it'd be it's easy and efficient to just essentially rip plywood down the middle to make your material and then cut it to fit however you're needing it to fit now this go around we're actually going to be brooding out something like 180 chicks 130 layers um, and 50 meat birds uh, with that number um, i was initially going to go with uh, two breeders but after talking with morgan i decided to go ahead and build three because i have enough plywood to do that um, and that will give us more than enough space and if we end up not needing it, um, I'll have an extra brooder that I'll probably just set up when I'm ready to clean uh, the first two. So essentially I'll like move all the chicks in one to the clean one and then reset the one I just emptied. Does that make sense? So kind of having like an extra brooder isn't necessarily a bad thing. And that way if I do need the space, uh, I'll have enough space to spread them out. Um, we're also going to have enough waters, feeders, and heating plates to cover all three brooders also, so also not going to be a problem. Okay, so I've actually already ripped the eight foot sheets of plywood. I've also already cut the end caps. Essentially what these are is one of those cut in half. That makes a four foot end piece. And I've got enough four foot end piece plus enough eight foot side pieces to build three brooders. Ben really wants to get started using the tools and he's been pouting in my chair, waiting for me. You ready? All right, get up. All right, put on your worker happy face. <laughs> That's your best one? Yeah. All right, show me you're ready to work. Where's those muscles at? Oh, these muscles? Yeah, those muscles, there you go. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, we're gonna work on this. <laughs> What are we doing? So these are gonna get gum together. That's gonna come up and that's gonna come up and then we're gonna use more of those and put them up here and then it's gonna be a big, big box. A big, big box? Yep. Mm, cool. That um, is simply the plan. We are going to be assembling these together and it's gonna make a big, big box. So yeah, you're right. A big giant box. Big giant box, that's right. That is three quarter inch treated like plywood. Knuckle. Which, if you're at your hardware store, they call it something else. 
I think it's 23, 32 or something like that. Anyways, essentially it's three quarter inch plywood. Um, the reason we use treated lumber for a lot of our chicken uh, related stuff is because of the high um, concentrations of ammonia in chicken manure. It breaks stuff down or at least uh, accelerates the process. Uh, anytime we've ever used um, any non-treated lumber, it just basically falls apart, doesn't last, pallet wood doesn't last. Um, the only other thing you could do is use cedar, but honestly, building a chicken coop out of cedar at the sizes we're talking about isn't really affordable. We like treated lumber. It does not have any negative effect that we can attest to uh, in using it, and it lasts for a long time. So that's just what we do, and I know that we're not alone in that. Okay, one thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna stand up this piece on its side, and then we're gonna stand this piece up and then we're going to overlap the outside end caps over the edge of the sidewall. All right, and then we're going to actually staple it with a crown stapler with two inch staples or inch and three quarter staples. Okay, so that's our first corner. Um, I did run a bead of wood glue right there, and then I used my crown stapler with the longest staples it'll take, which I do believe is an inch and three quarter staples. Um, Benjamin was helping me nail it. Now, to add extra support to this, we are going to be using these little brackets. I'm gonna screw them on like that. Actually, like that, okay? And we're gonna do two in each corner and I've got uh, inch and a quarter screws, which should do the job. I think that that will keep it sturdy enough, especially once we get it all assembled. Um, if I have to add more supports, then we'll just add more supports. There's other ways to shore it up so it stays sturdy. So the glue goes on the inside this side. Here. Do you know why it goes right here? Why? Because this is where the other piece of wood is going to be touching it. See, the other piece of wood goes right here. And this helps glue them together. Alright, I need you down there. Okay. We got to stand this one up. On my strength? On your, yeah, your strength muscles. Oh, which side are you going? I'm going this. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ready? Get it. So it's gonna go. Okay, now we need the nail gun. Nail gun? Mm-hmm. Can you grab it? It's over here. Okay, you hold it. I'll hold, hold it. it, you grab the nail gun. Uh. Okay, come on, do the first ones and then you get to help after. Is that how nail guns work? They shoot wind. We need two clips, screws, over there. So All right, what, what tools did we need? We need two of these, right. some of these, and uh, this. What's that? A drill. A drill, that's right. On there. That's right. And then it stays right, right. there. Now Let me step in and help you, hold on. Okay, now we just need some. We need these. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm hoping my dad. Okay, now it's your turn. Okay. First one. Okay, pull the trigger. Halfway. Perfect. You're getting better. And I'm getting good at work. Okay. So when I'm a girl. Hold on. Now go, go. Pretty good. Okay. And then when I am a doll, I know I have this memory and uh, I know it. It's like it really going work. Cool. I like it. Come here. Last one for this side. Okay. 
Do it. Okay, grab the glue. Yep, got the glue. Wanna take it down there? Yeah. Go this way. We got our tools, now we just have to build it up. Build it up, that's right. Then we're gonna put the inside of there, in there, and then we're done with the box. Except that we have to build three boxes. Yeah. It's a lot of boxes. Yeah. We're gonna do this box, wait for, wait a little bit, and build the other box, wait a little bit, and build the other box. Okay, sounds good. Basically what he's saying is, is that, um, he's almost checked out because he's been doing this too long for his attention span. So I think he'll probably help me get this uh, box assembled and then he's probably going to check out which will leave me to do these, um, which is fine. It might go a little faster but it will be way less entertaining. Alright, so I can count on you to help me finish this one though, right? Okay, let's do this thing. What do you think? The baby chicks can't get out. <laughs> nope, and I don't think they're getting out. They can fly too. Yeah, well, when they get wings, maybe. I can do What are you doing? <laughs> That's all I can do. Like. Oh, you're a baby chip right now? <laughs> I'm gonna be real serious. That thing looks huge. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna need more than two now that I've got it assembled. I mean, that's twice as much space as my last breeders combined, and I'm building two of them. So, I may save that plywood for something else, because that is massive. I mean, that's just massive. That's so, so big. So we're just not, we're not making three? I don't know. It just seems like so much space. Do what, do you, what do you think? You think we need three? I think we need one. I think we need one, huh? Yes. Okay, are you this about to check out? Big. It is pretty big. It's actually the biggest box I've ever seen. It's the biggest box you've ever seen? Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, you wanna go? Oh, come here, let's go say goodbye to everyone. We wanted to say goodbye, and thanks for hanging out with us while we got a little bit of the job done, right? Yeah. Was that fun? Yeah. You think you were gonna like learning how to build? Mm-hmm. What do you wanna be when you grow up? Um, anything. Anything. That's a pretty good answer. I want to do anything. You want to do anything. Like a bench, work, anything. You want to do what? I just want to invent, work, anything. Avenge? No, invent. Invent. Like invent suits. Invent? Yeah, invent is cool. You mean like Tony Stark? Yeah, inventing like Iron Man suit. Like I'm, I'm copying the Avengers. Like a Hulk suit. A Hulk suit. Wow. Yeah, but to eat, there's this holes that you put your hands in where the big fish are and you, you control it. Oh, cool. KG, not cool, dude. Well, I think that Kent and George, quit hitting the camera. Ah, uh, boo. <laughs> be gentle. All right, I think that you wanting to be an inventor and do anything is a pretty cool idea. What about farmer? Yep. I said anything, so yep. Okay, hold on. We gotta shoot that again because Mr. Country Boy is driving up and down the road with his loud music on. Alright, so what about farmer? You think you could be a farmer? Yeah. Yeah, you think you'd like that? Like taking care of a garden? Yep. Yep. You ready to go? Yep. <laughs> Give me a kiss on my cheek. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a kiss on my cheek. Alright, say goodbye to everybody. We bless okay. you until next time. Let's <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not actually done, uh, obviously. I'm not done building the breeders. Uh, this was just assembling the first box. I'm actually gonna be putting like a, uh, not like a hinged lid, but just a lid that we can set on top that'll help protect them from, honestly, the cats, uh, just in case Kitten George gets a crazy idea to go in there and eat some baby chicks. So um, I gotta still build the lid out of one by four. Um, I'm going to be stapling this welded wire fence on top of a one by four uh, lid. And then, like I said, we'll basically just, it'll be heavy enough that nothing will be moving it. And that'll just sit on top of those boxes. Um, 
Man, I can't get over how big these are. I don't know why. I don't, I don't see how we could need three, but I could be wrong. I mean, I have been wrong before. I'm gonna build two, and then if we absolutely looks like we're gonna need three, I'll go ahead and build the third one. That way I don't use the lumber and then not need it at all, and then the lumber's uh, nailed together and, and you messed up. So I'm just gonna save the lumber for the third one and only assemble it if it looks like we're running out of space, because honestly, this just feels so big. But this is our real sign off. Uh, I've got to go inside and do our live for Sunday and then I'm probably gonna come back out here after live and work for a couple more hours to try and get these done because the chicks are coming. So we bless you guys until next time.